Let me tell you what it's like living in RV parks across America. One night, you're plugged up next to a famous movie star. Next night, right next to the Crack Street Boys. And their lead slinger is Rose Pipe Rodney, running an eight-day-a-week restless retail and distribution center where they cook everything in a bathtub and sell it in a light bulb. It is the only product on the market today guaranteed to make you lose 75 pounds, half your teeth, and all of your kids in three weeks of your money back. The entire RV park will smell like butane and burning pickle juice. Now, the only thing you can do when you find yourself in a situation such as I have where you're right next to these people is sit back and enjoy the ride because the creativity and links that these people go to to let everybody around them know that they're breaking the law is astonishing. They have got extension cords run through every wall, window, aluminum foil all over the place. I, I mean, the only thing they could do to make it look more like Walter White lived in there was shave their head and start wearing hazmat suits. I mean, they got, it looks like the Griswold family Christmas. They got two 50 amp breakers so hot they could be on the cover of a Playboy magazine. Barney Fife could build a case against these people blindfolded. So pretty much now in my situation, the only way I can leave my RV is if I weld the door shut, call the National Guard and go lay across the street in a ghillie suit because their clientele has stolen every copper gutter cordless drilling catalytic converter within 25 miles of this place you can never underestimate the power of the toothless trolls they're pretty much like a hot fart after a funnel cake and a 40 ounce they'll surprise you i keep my rv lit up so bright at nighttime you would think et's family's coming back to get him because i am trying to thrive not wake up unalive it has been another messed up day at the last chance for life mobile home community i hope y'all are having a beautiful one you better think before you go across America in a damn camper because it is some crazy mess out here, baby.